Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. As far as camaraderie goes in the police department, specifically in the 8th District, it's a really tight group we have here. If an officer needs assistance, uh, 1055, which is our signal for officer needs assistance, comes out, or signal 108, God forbid, officer down, then you see a really quick response by lots of officers. <laughs> All right, right now we're going to uh, a 103M. Uh, we don't know exactly what's going on, but the comment says uh, he's acting violent inside as of right now. It's inside a restaurant. It's inside of a restaurant on Decatur. It's right there, huh? Yeah. So where you can park. Or two park. So you got 65 12 Hey, bro, you gotta go, dude. You got your ID on you? Right, I don't wanna force you, I'm asking you to. Run me. Yeah, I'm around. It's gonna be a while. Give me a plate, just tell him to step it up. Dude. He's right there, he's outside. Dude. Uh, 802 to 804, step it up. Chill out, man. Hey. Don't worry about that, man. Just roll out with him. Roll out with him. Get on your knees. Get on your knees, man. Get on the ground, man. On the ground. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Put the glass down, dude. Put the glass down. Put it down. Put the glass 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 down. Put the Right here, call yourself. I ain't done nothing wrong. Come here. Get on your knees now. Yeah. On your knees. Get down. Get on your knees, man. Get on your knees, man. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Come here. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Get Let's go. Dude. All you need. Don't come to me like that. We gonna take the hospital. Yeah, well, where? We take the hospital. I'm all right. I'll go and pee. Put the back down. Turn around. Get on your knees. Get on your knees now. Put your hands behind your back. Come on. Come on out. 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 Come on
You got spray? Come on, baby. Quit fighting. Wait, got I got you. Come on. Quit fighting. My arm's locked on his arm, dude. Right. I got the arm. I got the arm. Go to your face. Go all the way to your face. Go all the way to your belt. Go all the way to your belt. Go all the way to your belt. Sit up. Sit up. Don't worry about me. I'm not going to go. 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 I'm not going to
This is where she. This is where she ran her car to. Yeah. What is she back into that parking lot over there? And then, why? What's the deal? Why does she want to run you over? Because she's been thinking how her dad money went in last week. And she gave me dad money for me to take my kids out with. That's your mom. Yeah. Did you try to run her over? No. How did your car get over here? I drove it. Over here? On yeah. this side? Uh-huh. Well, did you let them out down there? No, they ju she opened the door and jumped out. And what, she and just then he, And he jumped out the back door. And then I turned around over there and came over, he over here to where they had just run across the road and running down into the ditch. Explain how this skid mark, is this part of your tire? I don't think so. Huh? No? Okay, then how did the skid mark get here, honey? If you weren't if you weren't chasing after him. I wasn't I was on the sidewalk and she came barreling down and down on the sidewalk. I wasn't no chasing after me. I was Are you hurt? To, I wasn't My chasing after her. I was trying to come along here beside her and say, listen, don't run away from me like this. The tracks start all the way over there. The witness said that she saw or they saw the two people running and screaming for help and that a vehicle was possibly chasing after them and then you got you got skid marks all the way across the parking lot back down here and across the uh, road over there which ran the victims into the ditch Are you just leave me alone? Let me, let me Will you just leave me the egg alone? Hey right now, please. And go. You don't leave me alone. You keep calling me. Won't help. And you keep on and you kept on lying to me. That's not leaving me alone. I won't call you another day or more <laughs> then. Hey, that's one thing. I'd like for you to, because I'd like to have a good relationship with you. But it's hard when you keep lying to me. It's hard when you've ended up putting bruises on me. When? No. August 25th of this year, you put down bruises on me that I wore for three damn weeks. How'd you end up on the side of the road? I drove up beside her and tried to say. But here's my thing. Give me here's my here's somebody, my problem. Somebody here. called in and said that, a, the stuff that she now. was screaming and you were trying to run her over. I wasn't. That's how we got called out here. I'm not you need rescue, sweetie? No, I just need to go home and get, get to bed. How far away do you live? Down the street. Come here. Right now, I need to get my cocaine leaders down me in there. Have a seat. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Are you sure you're not taking me anywhere? Well, we're, we're detaining you right now. That That's the truth right now. So I'll let you know what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to try to get a statement on your mom and tell me, write down what exactly what happened. Yeah. Your boyfriend, too. Okay? All right. Well, your mom's being in, put in jail tonight for um, aggravated assault domestic. Okay? It's got, uh, this has got to be what's done in order to get her temper under control. So be it. Okay. I don't care if I have a federal restraining order against her. Becky, uh -huh. listen to me, okay? You thought you were talking to your daughter or, or y'all were having a dispute or, or whatnot, but being that the complainant saw you chasing them down and skid marks on the road and your daughter crying and another her boyfriend witnessed to it, it it's aggravated domestic assault, okay? And he was yeah, calling me a bitch. I understand. I absolutely understand what you're saying. However, the evidence right now is is against you. Okay? So I just want you to understand why why you're going to jail. Okay? When you get out of jail, get some counseling or get something. The one thing that helps in this job, and I would say in any job, is self-evaluation. When you think you've got it all down, you need to reevaluate yourself. Everyone needs work. Uh, perfection's a lifelong lifelong strive and I think once you become complacent when you start doing less than adequate work we're on our way to the 4200 block where it looks like a father has just been in a bat in a fight with his daughter his adult daughter he's now outside arguing with a neighbor and uh, seems to be still irate Stone, I 
Copy, Shady, My name's Ray. Uh, 14, who's the, um, the involved party? I'm the victim here, supposedly. How you doing, Ray? My name's Ray, I'm the neighbor. Supposedly there was a girl scene that I... Oh, here we go. We got, okay. We, we've got the... Okay, so what's going on, Ray? I touched her or something like that. I never did nothing like that. All I am, I'm, li I'm paying attention to myself over here with my neighbor, drinking a beer. You just neighbor here in the orange, well, you both have orange shirts. Yeah, we're all in the union I'm working. No, I'm a nobody. Okay. And then these guys are, this girl's trying to say that I'm touching her or hurting him. Some guy tried to run up to me to slug me, right? Who is this? Some guy back there. I'm sorry, but I slugged him out because he's not going to come up. I'm in my own yard, right? Right. This guy's trying to run up to me to beat the me. Right, right. So Slug them hard. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Let me just check you out real quick. I'm not arresting you. I want to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. No, sir, I don't. All right, relax your arms. Spread your legs. I do. Well, that's fine, but you said you were nobody. I'll tell you right now, I do. My phone. And I will yeah. give it to you. I got a pocket knife, too. Gentlemen, hang on a second. I got one of them, too. I will it's give kind it of embarrassing, you. you know that? It's really kind of embarrassing. 314, I need assistance over here. I'm trying to be cool. What do you have? I've, I've, I've got a knife. Uh, I've got a blade on my pocket. So I thought you said I wasn't under arrest. You're not under arrest, but I have three people to deal with. Okay. Have a seat in my car. Scoot all the way in, dude. It's it's a real tight fit. My daughter come running home. She said that that guy attacked her. Okay. She's got marks all over her body. Okay. I, I came over here to talk to him. He got, uh, my nephew was with me. He got all crazy and they started fighting. Okay. I told Robin to call the cops because she's my neighbor. And the next thing we know, she's on the phone to what, Robin. What was the fight about? To Robin. He attacked and my he, daughter. He attacked Why? Her. So I don't I think he just walked up and. He attacked Where is your daughter at? In the house. I want you to okay, see Okay, let me talk to her. Thank you. Well, I'm concerned. I only knew about is a boyfriend getting socked to the chest. There's no boyfriend. All right. Mm -hmm. How old's your daughter? 20. 20 years old. Mm -hmm. No. Come in here. How are you? You're not real good, huh? What are you drinking? Beer. Trying to calm your nerves? Yeah. Wow. Are those bite marks or, ma'am, ma'am? Let me do my thing, okay? Thank you. I, I understand this is your daughter and I understand that, but for, for, from my point of view, I just need you to just kind of step back and let me talk to her as an adult, okay? What, what's going on? You know what, can we talk privately? Can, can you guys step outside, please? Yeah. Let's go outside, Robin. Sit down, you guys. Have a seat. Okay. Actually, sit right over here. Have a seat. Sit right here. What happened? He attacked me. How? He, okay, I went over there, right? Mm -hmm. And he saw, he said he had some weed, and I'm like, okay. And he said he was going to give me some, and I'm like, all right, cool, you know? Give you some what? Weed. Okay. And then I went over there, and we're sitting on the porch. And then he was like, you know, wait right here, right quick. And then I'm like, okay. And then he just drug me in the house by my hair. And then he just was like, he just threw himself on me because he started doing speed. And he was like, here, you want some? And I'm like, I don't do And this that. was at his house? Yeah. Okay. And I was like, I don't do speed. Okay. You know, and he's like, oh, come on, come on, trying to force me. And I'm like, no, I don't do that. And then he just attacked me, tried to take my pants off. <laughs> I didn't know it was too bad. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I understand. Did he touch you in any place, Pilot? No, he just tried to take my pants off. He did. Okay. How did you get away? I hit him and I ran. Where did you hit him? I hit him and I threw him in the face of the neck. Did you scratch him? No, I have no nails. Okay. Okay. Um, was he able to manipulate the zipper and the buttons on your pants? He unbuttoned my pants. He did? Pants. Okay. Did he say anything to you while he was doing that? No. He didn't say anything at all? No. And you said that he was offering you speed? 
And he kept offering me speed. Was there speed? Did you see it? And he kept offering it, offering it. I'm like, man, I don't do that. You know, I have a three-year-old little boy. I don't need to go and be all wasted. Right. And he was like, he said, well, fine, then I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And I said, fine. And then he came out, his shirt was off, and he attacked me. Okay. <laughs> Has he ever come on to you in the past? No. Never? No. How long have you known him? Not that long. I just moved in with my mom. Weeks, days, months? I lived at my mom's for a week. I just moved so in. So you've only been here a week? Yeah. Okay. At this point, we're going to close our investigation with taking this gentleman to jail for attempted rape. Sit like you were before. Sit kind of sideways. Well, this was a, a disturbance between neighbors that ultimately was an attempted rape where the suspect was detained by neighbors before getting to the victim again. This is one of those cases where you just don't know what's going to happen when you go to a call. And in this, in this particular situation, we were fortunate enough to identify the suspect, locate the victim, identify the crime, and ultimately take the guy away. Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Hey, what we're doing today, guys, is we're doing a buy bust. We're uh, first going to start out with some page ups. I think we have three of them. This is our usage. Y'all get a good look at them. Make sure uh, when you're doing your takedowns, uh, try to spare them any harm. I appreciate y'all being here. Biggest thing, guys, is let's be safe. Get everybody uh, we can, but be safe doing it. Uh, two days ago, we delivered uh, $60 worth of crack cocaine. Just okay. going to call them again and order up a yard. They've uh, made some deals in the past with uh, an individual over here. They've uh, called him up, and he's uh, there waiting for um, them to arrive now. They're going to do the deal. They'll give us the takedown signal, and uh, we'll take the uh, individual into custody. Okay, ready? OK, guys, it, it looks like uh, the target's pulled up in a white Pontiac instead of the blue Buick. He's uh, pulling up next to the detective's car now. It uh, looks like uh, Detective Morgan's out doing the deal. Car's right to the right of her. OK, she's got it. There's the apprehension word. Let's get him. Let me see your hand. Driver, show your hand. Driver, show your hand. Get out. He's eating stuff. He's eating it. He's eating it. He's eating it. Get him over there. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. You need a little taste of OC? Spray him. Spray him. Give me the other hand. Here. Give me the other hand. Oh, look at here. Yeah. That's Linda's money, I think. Oh, we're going to smoke. Huh? It's marijuana? It ain't dope. Powder. What else you got in here? Did he tell you he was coming for a cell duck? You see it? How much, huh? how much did he have? I don't know what he had, sir. Like I said, he came to pick me up, and he said, I'm going to go over here to Randy Court real quick. You know what you're being arrested for? Yes, sir. You just sold drugs to the police. How much, how much of it did you ingest? You got something on the cell? I didn't even huh? know what to uh, you, you tried to swallow drugs on it. We, we took some out of your mouth. How much did you get down? That, that, that's that's going to be a real health, health concern for you. I'm saying, you see, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, you did. I mean, you sold drugs, we recovered drugs, and recovered some out of your mouth. How much did it? Stick out your tongue. Well, when he pulled up, he handed me this piece. I started to hand him $100, and I said, come on. I said, that's not enough. Then he handed, then he handed me this, the next piece. So I went ahead, and I was still arguing with him that wasn't enough for $100. So I still went, made the exchange. By then, I already took the takedown. You see, he's uh, already uh, coughing up evidence, so to speak. Y'all did a good job. Good job on the takedown. Let's get another one. Hey, if you get there before me, make sure you call. Hey, blue truck. OK. All right, what you going to be? A red aluminum. All right, bye. Red aluminum. A red aluminum. He's pulling on the first block uh, to the right. The guy pulled up, and uh, he wants to do the deal about a block away. 
we're going to try to uh, readjust ah, our takedown cars and uh Okay, they're in the middle of the deal right now. Look at it, baby. And that's the I'm best good. stuff you, you can get. You got any more pieces? Yeah, you just brought what you wanted, you know what I'm saying? Make sure. Side. I got him, I got him. Covered. I got him out. I got him out. Everybody all right? Yeah. Looks like he got him in custody. What happened? Well, when we come at, came around the corner, he was outside of the car doing the, uh, the deal. He saw us come in and uh, he jumped to get in his car. He went to leave. I wanted to try to block him and he hit my car and then uh, he put it in reverse and uh, we bumped him again. Have you ever done this before? Yes, sir. No? First time? Yes, sir. How'd you know them? How'd you know the detectives you sold to? Just got the phone now. Hey, how come you ran, man? Just nervous, man. Nervous? You know it was the police? You knew you screwed up? Well, he, he, what, what were you thinking? Just trying to make some quick money for my baby. Trying to make some quick money for your baby? Today you sold to uh, some undercover detectives and uh, you'll be spending some time in jail. All right? Hey, hey, let me, all right, all right, all right, hey, check it out. When you leave work, how long is it gonna take you to get home and then, and then get your pool stick and meet me? Detective Morgan just made another call. We don't know who this guy is. We don't know what kind of car he's coming in. She don't know who, oh, she got the uh, number from a prostitute. So right now, uh, you know, we don't have a clue, but um, we'll make it work like all these other by bus. Y'all ready to go? Yep, yes, sir. All right, y'all head out. All right. Okay, we're headed up uh, Beach Boulevard. We got our UCs talking to some bad guys in the parking lot of a liquor store right up here, right up ahead of us. And um, they're talking to them right now, doing the deal. All right, guys, move in. Move in on them. Jack. Hey, Bravo 255. Here we got one running out. Oh, Lord. Oh, back off him. Oh. Back off. You all right? You all right? Gonna back off. Cuff him up. Hey, we want a company? Yeah, we got him. You want to stand him up? Yeah. Roll over. Let's see your hand. Let's see your hand. All right? Yeah. Hey, I'm Sergeant White. What, what's going on tonight? Why are you running? Do you know you just sold the two undercover detectives? But listen, uh, I guess you're mute, but you're going to jail tonight for selling crack cocaine to the police. You messed up. Could have got yourself killed out here running like that. About ran into our car. He was actually honest. You know, I, I had, this is what he sold me, and I said, this is for 100 for, you know, yard? He said, nah, you good people, I'll sell it to you for 80. I said, all right. So I phoned him with the money, gave it, and uh, started giving the takedown. And that's when he saw somebody. And uh, he runs and he starts shedding some clothes. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna wrap it up tonight. Uh, Y'all did a good job. We got three cars, got four heads. Uh, you know, uh, they're all players. So, uh, it, you know, it's been a good night for a couple hours worth of work. I work uh, in the Passaic County Sheriff's Department, which is about 30 minutes away from the city. It's uh, New York City, that is. It's about, uh, it's in northern part of New Jersey. Uh, Sheriff's Department takes care of the uh, courthouses, the jail complexes, and we have a uh, patrol division, which I'm assigned to. And uh, currently, we're in the, uh, close to the Alexander Hamilton uh, Housing Projects. It's a uh, well-known drug 
distribution center. Uh, a lot of drugs come out of here, so we'll be in the area for a little bit. Stop any suspicious vehicles uh, that we see here. If there's anything that comes out or around that sticks out, uh, I'll be stopping on Maryland Ave extension. I'll be stopping his vehicle. He failed to uh, stop at the stop sign at East 35th and 22nd Avenue. Check him out. Let's see. Huh? I can't hear you, bud. Excuse you? Excuse you? Excuse you for what? No, no, I thought you, I thought you were yelling something to me when you were getting out the car. Huh. I'm just coming back. Uh, step out. Huh. Come here, bud. I don't want to get crushed by the uh, trees here, you know what I mean? No. Stand there for me. Turn around, look at me. Relax. I don't have my wallet on me, sir. Huh. Right, you got anything in your pocket you're supposed to have? No. no so I'm going to let you know right now? I have absolutely. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Four black males that ran up to your car. We got that already. So whatever you have for me, listen to me. Turn around. Look at me. Whatever you have, whatever you have, just put it right there next to your phone, all right? What's your first name again? Corwin, sir. Corwin? Yes. All right. Listen to me. What do you have? You don't have anything? I do have stuff on me, Okay, sir. what do you have? I bought a bag of crack. One bag? No, two bags. Two bags of crack? Yes. All right, no problem. Just have a seat there for me, all right, bud? Hey, two different color baggies, too, huh? Where are you from? Garfield? How long have you been smoking crack for? Um... Two years, three years? Um, well, just recently, I've been going through a lot of aggravation with my girlfriend. Uh -huh. And I just got out of rehab recently. Okay. okay. Like, these past two weeks, she's been hounding me and disturbing me about all things. And she kind of caught on my habits a little bit. I just got out of rehab. I just had a son a year ago. And it's a way to I start have, off the year, I right? Have a, a very, a very crappy job, you know. My, I'm the only one working. She's always hounding me for money and all sorts of stuff. How do you smoke? You have a crack pipe? No. How do you smoke it? Well, out of a can. Out of what? A can. A can? That's the first one. I've seen people put ashes on the can and. Bro, you can't be doing this high on crack. I, I had a bad accident today at work. Like I said, my girl's been driving me to sir. Yeah, but this ain't no, you know, know, this ain't no reason to smoke crack. I know, I know, I know that. You know what I, I mean? I, I just felt like I had like, uh, I just had like an urge. I wasn't thinking straight today. After today, I haven't been drinking, thinking straight all of this week, sir. So, all right, listen. With everything that's been going on. You're just gonna on. get charged with possession on a summons, all right? Am I gonna have to go to court for that? Yeah, you gotta go yeah. to court, of course. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right? Am I gonna lose seeing my son for that? No. Well, you gotta straighten up, bro. You went to rehab once, what are you doing? How old's your son? Uh, 13 months. 13 months, a year old, bro. You gotta think of this stuff. Come on. How old are you? 29. 29? You should know better, bro. I know. You should know a lot better than that. Come on. I, I, I kick myself in the ass. I do. You really should know better. What, you're gonna take me with you? Yeah. You're gonna get released from headquarters. Okay? All right. Simple possession. Hey, bud, we can't just dump bags and say, hey, have a nice day. Hopefully you'll learn something from this. We have kids also, you know? All right? All right? No, you're not. No, you're not. 
All right, we're going to park this car for you. When my girlfriend finds out, I'm going to end up getting kicked out of my house. You're going to tell her? I'm going to have no choice but I'm going to have no choice but to tell her. Come here. Just put your hands in back, all right? You got nothing else on you, right? Nothing. No sharp objects, nothing on you? All right? All right. All right. I'd like the corporal explain it to you. It's a simple charge. Let's go with it. We're going to park your car for you, okay? Let's go. Step through my car. Lighter? Keep this lighter with a cigarette. There you go. I park. I'm going to be taking him in, two bags of crack. Okay. I'm going to write him on a, a summons, and also he's going to be charged with uh, CDS and a motor vehicle. All right, very good. All right, I parked Where's his he vehicle. From? He's from Garfield. Okay. So, right. what are we going to do? Very good. All right? Very good. All right, thanks, folks. My kids, they don't seem to worry about me. I'm sure that they do, but I don't, I don't think they understand at this point how dangerous this job is. My daughter actually has me write a little journal of, of interesting calls I get. They go to school until the other kids at school. She adds stuff to it, of course. Um, just the other day, she wrote, she wrote a, I had a story about a guy that had shot a snake, and I told her that. She thought that was the coolest thing, and she wrote a long story about it. And my son, he wants to be a police officer, he says. We're en route to a call where a, uh, the complainant called the police to advise that her 15-year-old daughter has beat her up. Um, the operator that took the call, the 911 operator, said that it was a violent background. I heard a male in the background trying to detain the, the juvenile, so apparently she, the, she's trying to leave the scene, and we're arriving on the scene right now, the area, see what's going on. Y'all call the police? What can I do for you? She told me she was going to a birthday party. Mm -hmm. And uh, next thing you know, her boyfriend's calling here, the one I told you about. Hi. Yes, ma'am. And next thing you know, I'm like, oh, so you're going to this birthday party to meet Dan? Oh, no, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, OK, I go in the house, finish eating, come out. I said, who are you talking to? She said, none of your business, bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to tell you everything she said. None of your business. So I take the phone away from her, and he was standing right there because he followed me out here. And she started pulling my hair. Pushing so and that, kicking. Yeah, pushing and kicking. Did she kick you? Yes, I got scratch marks yeah, there. I got marks here. there. She tried to bite me look, right she there. She pulled the hair out of my head. I got I a bruise by my leg. I probably had a self-defense. I swear okay. to God. Did you see what happened, sir? Yes, I did. Okay, if you can step over here, let me yep. talk to you a second. I swear to God. Can you tell what happened? They were standing right there. Mm -hmm. She told her to give her the phone. Mm -hmm. And she wouldn't give her the phone. So she grabbed the phone. That's all she did. Mm -hmm. And she was calling her bitch, slut, mm -hmm. whore, and everything. All right. Pulling her hair, kicking her. All right. Yep. OK. Did she hit her back or? No, she no. didn't. And then uh, they went in the bedroom, and she was just holding her down. She was pulling her hair and everything. OK. Well, OK. Was pulling her and who hair. are you to her? Uh, well, I'm like stepdad. You're the stepdad. You live here in the, in the family, in the yeah. household? Okay, I appreciate it. And you're, where are you injured at, ma'am? I got scratch marks there. I got okay. marks there. I got where she tried to bite. Well, you can't see it, but there's a bruise right there. She tried to bite me. Okay. I got, well, you can't see it, but there's a bruise right there. Okay. And she's sitting there calling me a bitch, slut, tramp, whore, you name it. And all I did was hold her down. Okay. I'm like, who are you talking to okay. your mother like this? Okay. Um, Not 10, 15. Came and got me yeah. at, Let me see where your, I um, was at. Let me get you see your toes. Turn around for me. I promise I didn't. Turn around for me. Oh Turn around for me. I promise I didn't hit you Turn first. Turn around for me. I promise I didn't hit you first. <laughs> Mom, I didn't hit you first. You both on my hair. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. You ever been arrested? No. <laughs> Mom, you pulled my hair. Hey, we're not going to argue right here, okay? I promise I didn't pull her hair. 
Where's your own <laughs> double law? There it is. I swear to God and everything I love. And I have a witness because I was on the phone when she did it. I don't know how to work your toss. Come in, you're under arrest for battery domestic violence, okay? I didn't hit her. Okay. Need you to have a seat in the car? We don't need that. We don't need that. I need you to tell me what happened here tonight. When she came outside, she had like kind of an attitude with me, and I was on the phone with my friend Anthony. She's like, get off the phone, whatever, and she pulled my hair. I did not pull her hair first because I know she would call the cops on me. Okay. And that's the hair that she pulled out of my head, and I started walking up to the house. She said, you need to get inside. She started pushing me, and she pushed me hard right into bed. Okay. And we got in the house or whatever, and she started cussing at me, and you know, I was mad. I cussed at her back. She got me on my bed, and laid, you know, had her hands on me, wouldn't let me up. Well, man, for right now, the witness is giving the same story as your mother, who is the victim, okay? She has several scratches and, and bite marks on her arm, okay? So I that, 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 okay, that justifies um, battery domestic violence, and you're being arrested at this point for that, okay? And you know what else? She has the right to spank you. You're a child, she okay? Has. She has a right to push you inside the house, and she has a right to grab a hold of you and take you and hold you down, okay? As long as she don't go too far, okay? But she has she has a right to spank you. The only reason she just has because you're 15 years old. The only reason she has marks on your on her is because you were being disrespectful to her, and you put your hands on her. Okay. All right, Nicole, just hang tight. Okay, you just ride with me down. Okay. All right, I'll help you. A lot of times in this situation. You, you'll wake up tomorrow morning and you'll feel bad for her and you'll, you'll want to drop charges or something like that. Oh, that that's, no. not, that's, not the, that's not the good thing to do because by, by us arresting her, we're not, we're not trying to, to hurt her or, or have her put in jail. Oh. We're trying to get her help for you, okay? Believe we're trying to get not. her help for her problems and, and help you. Believe okay? me, I'm not going to feel any different in the morning. Okay. And I've, I spoke to her, but I've tried to get her help before, and there's nothing I can do right. because she's asked me, you know, have you ever, has she ever been in trouble? See, that's the problem. She's never been in trouble. Right. Well, this is a good thing. Now now she'll go in front of a judge. A judge will see her see her face, and he, he'll be able to court order her into programs. Okay? Well, that's what I'm hoping. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you very okay. much. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 25 on check two.